Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, today we are going to create an environment in Maya. So let's start with uh, our base. And for that, I'm going to take a cube. and uh, let's create a duplicate and pull this one up and i'm going to scale it down like this go to front view and place it on this other cube and with this what i'm going to do is you have to Go to face mode and uh, select this face then press shift and scale it like this and you are going to do the same thing down here again select this face press shift and scale it down like this now select everything except these two faces and uh, let's duplicate these faces now isolate this one and first remove all these unnecessary edges and delete now bring back your model and select these faces isolate and uh, extrude add a little bit of thickness like this and go to edge mode select these two edges bevel decrease the fraction and increase one segment now let's take another cube or what you can do is you can select this one create a duplicate place this one here and you go to top view then uh, scale it like this and place this one here Now take insert edge loop tool and add one edge here and uh, isolate this and go to face mode and select these faces except this one then extrude add thickness like this let's bring back your model go to right view select it and place it here like this Now let's take another cube and pull this one up, increase the width like this, maybe a little less, increase the height. Go to front view and pull this up like this. Add a little more height, something like this. Now isolate it and go to face mode and delete this bottom face. 
bring back your model and uh, go to front view and place it down here like this go to top view and make sure it's aligned with this part so go to vertex mode select these vertices press v to snap them to point like this and uh, these ones fill here and now we are good to go so let's take insert edge loop tool and add one edge here select this edge and split then bevel again repeat the same thing here then bevel decrease the fraction so we are going to create sections for our doors and for this let's select this face extrude it inside and delete this face and this one and repeat the same thing here include it like this and delete it and this face now select the top faces extrude and we are going to scale them like this or what we can do is we can go to right view and select these vertices then merge to center and we can repeat the same thing with all these vertices on the top like this so our base is ready and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these three faces and uh, create duplicates now select this part deselect this modify center pivot and I'm going to go to edge mode and delete these two edges and I'm going to select this edge then go to connect tool and add a few segments maybe two and then I'm going to go to face mode and delete these two faces and just keep this one go to edge mode and select this edge then use connect tool and I'm going to add a few more segments let's take 16 or 20 so select the alternate edge like this and uh, pull them up then bevel add one segment and decrease the fraction and we are good to go now we just have to create duplicates and place them like this now we can select these three or what we can do is we can arrange them like this and uh, we can combine them and we can duplicate and place them on the other side but first uh, let's do one thing select this and uh, isolate 
go to face mode and select these faces and delete now bring back your model select this and i'm going to go to top view go to pivot mode press d to enter the pivot mode and place this here like this also go to front view again go to pivot mode and uh, place it up here like this press ctrl d and open your channel box go to scale z add minus one and duplicate like this go to right view and uh, pull it down like this just a little bit this one like this or what we can do is go to right view again and uh, let's pull them down a little like this and uh, let's select them and scale in x axis just a little bit so that we can cover the sides and we are done with this so in the next part we are going to add some more details and cover this part so that's it for this video and in the next one we are going to complete this environment i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then subscribe to the channel if you're new and drop a like on this video I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.